Hiya. Welcome to the stream. It is Wednesday. Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Already. Oh my god. It's because everyone hates Mondays. That even time hates Mondays. How are we doing? We're doing good. Um, I rushed to the stream again. I swear, I don't... I barely have enough time between finishing work and starting the stream because, like, I go to make some food and then I do my exercise and then I shower and then I start the stream off. And it's... It can be so difficult, like, I don't know how people do it sometimes. How they're even able to balance many things in a day. Which I'm literally rushing around, and my legs are so weak after my exercise now. Crazy. But I did manage to um, pretty much perfect my chicken jam in uh, fake away recipe. Um, which I'm so happy because the previous ones that I did for it, I used light, like premium light soy sauce. And it just does not work out. It's like, it doesn't bring that dark color to the noodles as what it looks like in takeaways. And every single time that I, you know, I see that, that it doesn't bring a lot of color, usually people's common sense goes to, well, I'll just put more in. I'll just keep pouring it in until it gets to that color. But then five, ten minutes later, when I've ate it all, I'm like on the floor, f uh, foaming at the mouth from sodium overdose. I don't even know if you even foam in the mouth with a sodium overdose. I don't even know what, what, what happens when you get a sodium overdose. Let's see what happened. What, what, let's Google it. Typically results in a feeling of confusion and jitteriness. Severe degrees of intoxication can cause seizures and a coma. Well, that's salt poisoning, though. Is that the same? Would that be the same? It would be the same, wouldn't it? Because weirdly to me, when I hear salt poisoning, uh, I think, like, someone drinks, like, a glass of water from the sea. Like, oh, I feel a bit parched. Goom! And then they're making um, sand angels at the beach. Because they've got salt poisoning. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I was really happy to find out, like, to, to, to finally perfect the, to perfect the recipe. I should do this as a, thank you. Thank you. Th thank you so much. Yeah. Um, so what did, what did I do different? Okay, so. I got a different brand of noodles. I got the, the brand that I got before was Blue Dragon. I don't think they're terrible, but I feel that they're a little bit bland, a bit tasteless. And they, yes, they are just noodles. They're just plain noodles. But I feel like they kind of just don't have anything to that. Like, it, something has that kind of flavor. Like, everything has a sort of kind of flavor, if you know what I mean. I don't, but it's like. It's when people don't, like, people ask you not to, like, boil your vegetables to death and drain them because all of the vitamins and the minerals and all the things that were on the vegetables in the first place have been washed away. And that's kind of the same thing with egg noodles. I got a different brand of egg noodles. I can't remember what they were called. I think they were called, like, Sh Sh Sharwood? Sharwood? No? Wait. Uh, egg noodles. Sha Sh Sharwoods. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I did figure it out. Thanks. So yeah, I got Shaw Woods medium egg noodles instead. They have a way different taste to them. And uh, and I cook them differently. I've cooked them like three different, like three different methods of cooking these noodles. The first time, I just boiled them in bubbling water, but that made them absorb too much water and they became very, um, very slimy, very squidgy. Whereas takeaway chicken chow mein noodles are supposed to be quite dry. Um, almost kind of like medium hard-ish. They're not supposed to be super soft. Um, 
so you can't like boil them for too long. The second time, I used my bamboo steamer that I got as a present uh, for Christmas. Uh, you're only supposed to put dumplings in there, but I was like, well, it's a steamer, so I'll just try to put my noodles in there. So I did, I put my noodles in there, but they just, they didn't really do that much. They didn't really like soften. Uh, they were still quite hard, and they were, I mean like crunchy hard. And then the third time is I just put them in boiling, like, water from the kettle, just pour it in a bowl, and then just put the noodles straight in the bowl, and leave it in there for, like, five minutes. Uh, and then drain it and just leave it out on the side for them to kind of dry out. You can eat them al dente. What does al dente mean again? I'm, like, I'm, like, googling so many things already. Al dente describes pasta or rice that is cooked to be firm to the bite. Yeah. Yeah, so it's essentially you cook them al dente. You, you, they're supposed to be kind of still quite hard, um, but also dry. Like you have to make sure that they don't get, absorb too much water, uh, because the the entire dish will be too like s like uh, sludgy and like soupy and wet. It's just like, it's not supposed to be wet. So this time when I did, I used prawns this time, so I made a, a king prawn chow mein. Um throw your meat in to cook it uh i use prawns obviously you can cook your chicken or whatever or even tofu however you want it uh apparently takeaways like british chinese takeaways actually boil their chicken when they make chicken chamois they boil it because it's quicker and then they just leave it at one side and then when they go to make the chamois they throw it in the wok but you can just cook it however you want um, and then cook some onions. I wanted bean sprouts, but I could not find any at my shop, which is unfortunate. They have a stir-fry bag full of carrots and cabbage, you know, the worst vegetables in the entire fucking planet. Uh, but they, they had bean sprouts in them, but I just wanted bean sprouts on their own, so I couldn't get them. Um, so cook them for a bit, saute them, and then throw in your, your egg noodles that have been put in hot water for a bit. Uh, mix them up a bit, and then MSG. It is very important you put MSG in it. Um, imagine liking bean sprouts. What's wrong with bean sprouts? Bean sprouts are good. It's like the 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 pure like vegetable for 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 like a cha uh, a chow mein. They're great. I like to think they're just like um, lighter, tinier, thinner onions. I don't know. Anyway, um, MSG, I put like a teaspoon in, mix it all around, uh, cook it for a little bit. I don't bother with extra salt because I salt my prawns uh, and I think that's enough because you already got MSG, which got a lot of sodium in it anyway. Um, cook that for a little bit. Then when it's starting to really like cook and it's starting to get really hot and all loose and stuff, then you... Um, <coughs> finest when eating bean sprouts what is that is that a vor emote oh it's Wayland's emote <clears throat> yeah well yeah i like bean sprouts they're nice but yeah once you've cooked them for a bit then put in your your you need dark soy sauce dark soy sauce is the only way to go i put in about maybe two tablespoons uh, because that's that's going to be cooked for a bit anyway, so it's going to slightly reduce. You want to get that dark color in your in your in the noodles from the soy sauce. Again, dark soy sauce, not light, because it won't really do much. Light soy sauce is a bit saltier as well than dark soy sauce. At least that's that's what I think. But then again, I could just be putting too much light sauce or soy sauce in, um, and then just cook that for a little bit more, and you're done. That is literally it. And you can make a pure, authentic British Chinese takeaway chicken chow mein. Or meat chow mein. And it tastes exactly like it when I had it today, and it was amazing. But it, I probably shouldn't have it, like, almost every day, because it is a lot of salt. But I exercise to, uh, to make up for it. I could go on for, like, 20 minutes of talking about things. But then, when I like actually go into, the, into streaming the game, I I have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> I like talk about everything at the very at the very start. So maybe I should 
move the stream over to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I want to eat blood sausage personally. Um, you mean? Do you mean uh black? No, black. Okay. I th isn't that wait? I have to check. Oh, it is black pudding. Yeah, I thought. Why would you want that? Just because black pudding is mentioned in British cuisine doesn't mean it's good. It is. It. It's. It's not. It's nasty. It's like um. It's like when you find out um. The KFC gravy. Is like. It's like that because it's like the bottom of the barrel. Or something like that. Or like, you know, or Marmite and Vegemite. It's like, it's from fermenting yeast from beer. Or whatever, that, like, things like that. Like, it's like those weird things that people eat even though it's, it's like, how it's made is so disgusting. I don't want KFC food most of the time. To be fair, a lot of people go to KFC for the Barking Bucket Chicken. I go there for, like, the wraps. Like, the grilled chicken wraps. Or their burgers. Like, their chicken burgers. I don't go for the... Because I don't like eating things off bones, usually. Because they've got lots of, like, fat and muscle and stuff on them. And sometimes you actually chew into the bone and it's just like, ugh. So I like things boneless. We need one of these for this channel. What is it? Oh, it's a little paw. Well, my hands aren't really paws. I have, like, human hands just, like, but covered in fur. Well, that's a bit of a... <laughs> Rejected. Anyway. No, that, it, I can consider it. I, you know. There's a lot of things I could do for this. Oh, did you notice the slide transition? Yeah. Thank you to my friend RJ for telling me about that. He has way more experience in setting up OBS streams than me. Um, and I also have the alerts thing ready. It will appear above my head. So if anyone does, uh, I think the bits uh, and the following subscriptions, things like that, it will pop up above my head. And it should actually play a little ch chime as well. But I haven't got that set up yet. I don't have like custom chimes or anything. It's just default. You can ask Wayland. Oh yeah, I, I could, yeah. Well, to be fair, I wasn't really asking in the first place. Uh, RJ just kind of messaged me about it and was like, oh, do you want to know how to do this? And I'm like, oh, okay. And this time I'm going to, oh, I'm going to remember to turn on the desktop audio because I didn't do that last time. I went an hour and 20 minutes of my last stream completely silent. No music, no sounds, no nothing. And what I had to do is to export the stream, VOD, open it up in DaVinci Resolve and re-export it with some audio. That was kind of funny. I mean, my reaction is probably hilarious when finding out. But I was just like, oh. It's like finding out um, when you've made something, like you've drawn something, you've animated something, and you post it online. And then you find out that you've like, you've missed a spot in coloring or whatever. It's that same feeling. It's like, fuck. Shit, I can't do anything about it. It's like, it's done, it's happened. Well, the one thing I could do was to put some music in and upload the VOD to YouTube, which I did do. Well, boy, how did Gonzalez fix for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just say, see here, your next opponent will be rank 15 in the Glitz Pit, Spack Storm. Now listen, son, it is bad, I want you to avoid using your hammer, not even once, son. I want to see how you do when you ain't got that something to beat a fella with. Now get in there and let's see some acrobat defying.
I've been working on my uh, time splitters edit. I've uploaded my um, my Jack and Daxter edit to my channel. Uh, I've gotten like four comments that all say, "Oh my God, Finus is back after four years." Which is to me, yeah. Even though I've not really gone anywhere, yes, I didn't post anything on my YouTube, like videos and stuff, but I've been on social media. It's not like I've just disappeared. But I'm glad that some people still <laughs> like to stick around and be, be grateful that I'm back. I did look at my, my YouTube analytics and I did like get unsubscribed like 50 times. <laughs> what program do you use to edit? So, originally I was using Final Cut Pro on my iPad uh, because it's, it's very simple and I've always wanted to use it anyway. Um, how do you expect me to- oh. Yeah. However, I realized that it's not that powerful. Even on my iPad Pro. I have an iPad Pro 5th gen, and about halfway through the footage, it starts to lag, and I have to wait for it to pre-render, and that takes up a lot of space on my iPad. It just wasn't an efficient way. Uh, and then when I went to edit one of my VODs, I just like, well, I'll just do it in DaVinci Resolve because I already have it installed and it'll be easy to explore. I didn't realize how it was much easier than I thought. I thought it was just too... I thought it was too complex. I thought it was just too much for what I wanted. Uh, but it turns out, like, no, it's actually, it's actually not too bad. So... I decided to redo my time splitters edit in DaVinci Resolve. It's free. Uh, the studio version you have to pay for, but there is a free version, and it does some pretty decent editing. If you if you don't want to do that much with it, um, like very simple splicing and throwing a couple of pictures in there, sounds and whatever, DaVinci Resolve. Another friend told me DaVinci is good. It's it's surprisingly, it's um. It's very advanced for it to be free. I mean, I was thinking about this uh, the other day. The fact that 12, 13 years ago... Hold on, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna turn my desk... I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more. Because I'm re I'm... I'm really cautious about the desktop audio being too loud. But yes, if you think, if you really truly think about it, 12, 13 years ago, the only decent, f the free editing software that we had access to was Windows Movie Maker. And that was it. There wasn't really anything else. I think there was like, what, Cinemaster? Or, um... There's like another one as well, but there, there wasn't there wasn't a lot back then, and people resorted to just pirate in Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas was was so heavily uh, pirated. No one really cared about Adobe back then. I don't think anyone wanted Adobe Premiere back then. It was either like you go for something free or you try to pirate Sony Vegas. I might just keep appealing because. Uh can either use Madame Flurry's gay or thingy or the earthquake attack so I just have to keep appealing 12 years ago we had to use rocks to edit movies yeah that that's how it feels but really it, it really does seem that way I mean okay I was going to talk about this as well, um, just because it's an interesting topic of what 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 did I do back in my day? What was my childhood? What was my growing up on the internet? And I'll tell you what it was. What I did when I was like 11, 12, is I was really addicted to... I loved watching sprite animations, like Sonic sprite animations. I was a massive fan of them. And I remember I used to make my own back in the day, but I didn't have any, I didn't have Photoshop, I didn't have Adobe Flash. Um, 
I had Windows Movie Maker and MS Paint. And so, what did I do? I literally made these sprite animations in MS Paint. And it was such an awkward way of doing it. I had to like keep copy and pasting in the background every frame that I made. And then I import all those images into Windows Movie Maker. And then just have to like shorten the clip down to like two frames, three, four frames long. It was so hard, so difficult. I'm not gonna use a special on one enemy. Um, so... I use Premiere to make videos in college. I really like it, but you basically need to use a Mac to actually get the most out of it. I yeah, I use Adobe Premiere when I was in university for my uh, compositing work. Oh, sorry, my editing work for my animations. But that was fine anyway because we got uh, Adobe Creative Cloud for free. Um, I think we did. At least in the classes, we had access to it. Um, I liked using it. Personally, I liked using it. I use it to for my, my YouTube videos back in the day. Oh, God. Um, but I don't. I don't like spending money on it. I don't like spending money on on Adobe. when Vegas and other video edits work the same. Yeah. I mean, Sony and Vegas still, is still a champ by um, being able to buy it once and have a lifetime license for it. Adobe will never do that. You can get Sony Vegas on Steam for like £180. Or what would that be? Like $230? Something like that. The problem that I had with Sony Vegas back in the day was that it crashed all the time. You could not get through a single session of editing without it crashing. Hey man, check this. I heard that hot dog staying outside's getting a new menu item. Yeah, it sounds like it's some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying the hot dog will help you win fights. You ought to snag out on one. An egg. That might be, um... That little dino guy. Might have to check that out. $400 to be uh, it is like Vegas Pro Studio or whatever like so that is kind of like a, a, pro, a you know a typical price for uh, editing software that is the thing though it's like it seems like a lot of money but you just know you don't think about that amount when it's through a monthly subscription like paying um People pay £50 a month for Creative Cloud, having access to all Adobe software. But that's like 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. That's £600 a year. And you still don't own it. What the hell? Is it my fans? Oh my god! Well, well, Mr. Mustache, so you're a fighter now, hmm? Well, I suppose I'll cheer you on from the shadows, my sweet. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, it's for him. Ha ha ha, everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves them to rock. That's a joke, it's not 400. Oh. No, bad, so very bad. Behave yourself, egg. No, bad, come back. Help, my imported egg escaped. Somebody catch it. I 
had a wave. My menu was going to have the sudden fried egg dog for tasting this, but now bad. I ordered that naughty egg from an island in the south. I had to pay shipping too. Don't just stand there, help catch it. Well, that tends to happen with international shipping, unfortunately. How do I catch it? I don't... I don't know how to catch it. Why is there a random toad here? Catch it. Oh. Most awfully bad. Come down from that bad egg. How am I supposed to get it now? Fly there? You, don't just stand there with your mustache. Find a way to get up there. It's easy, it's easy. Um. How do I get up there? Maybe I can't at the moment. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Yeah. I I went through like proper lengths though, um when I was editing my time splitters stream. Unfortunately, the second stream, the audio was so loud. Like, the gameplay audio was super loud. And so what I did was I, I edited that portion of the stream. I, like, spliced it up and everything. I then exported the audio out into an MP3 file. I then put it into Audacity, spliced it into six clips. What am I doing? Oh, paper airplane. And then I imported all six of those clips into Ultimate Vocal uh, Remover. Uh, it's like a software that's it's very good. It uses uh, like uh, AI training data um, to isolate vocals from. It's usually for music. But it uses models and stuff, and I put them in there to uh, to like, you know, quieten the, de the the gameplay audio for my voice. I made it slightly better, but if I changed it too much, you could really tell, like, you could really hear the distortion in it. Oh my god! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah. Hmm. Now, you wish for us to help you, you darling little egg? Mario, hun, what do you think we ought to do? Other little guy. Positively endearing choice, Mario. Not that I expected any less, we shall free him. You, sir, Mr. Proprietor, would you allow us to free this poor soul? Oh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. But that's just lovely. You're free to do whatever you like, dear egg. Farewell. Hmm? What is it now, dear? You wish to accompany us, you adorable thing? I dare say this little dumpling wants to stay with us, Mario. What shall we do? No jumping eggs bug me. <laughs> You're all clear, little one, but do try not to get in underfoot, all right? All right, cool. Oh, thank you, Technical Tiger, yeah. A little bit of uh, walking about and figuring it out. Oh, I've got mail. Uh, let's see. Mailbox. RDM issue two. Rogue pot today. Old Toad settles in. It's coming to light that after settling into life at our inn, Toad's worth, age sixty, has often been spotted in the company of Zest T. 
the notoriously finicky Zesty surprised all when it was heard saying, what's wrong with spending time with my little total toes? What? He's talking about his feet. The possibilities such as a comment opens has our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Wait, I don't understand. Are these just two random people? I don't get it. Why are they so nosy? Our focus of attention this week plunges great tree shop. Money and girls are fickle, so easy come, easy go, you know. Jesus. He fully understands why his shop isn't busy, too. We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. He even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shop points. Looking for rookies. Uh, editor's note. We've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to more hot news. Coming soon. Okay. I like reading them. I think some people are like, oh, you know, it's like your typical kind of things that will just automatically come in every time to time. But I like reading them. It feels more immersive. Zesty is the chef who hates her guts for crushing her contacts. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> That's what I forgot about. Yeah, I forgot about her. Huh, the Great Gonzalez? You're a minor leaguer and your nickname is Great? <laughs> Move aside, you wanna be. My camera settings can't process minor leaguers. <sighs> Ouch! I didn't think I'd get so offended like that. This is a major- oh. Alright. Not there yet. That's what I'll save for now. I haven't really been paying attention too much to my badges, so maybe I should review them real quick. Um, I have... wait. Oh. I've been using all six at the moment. Yes. Uh, so I have... I can get rid of that. I don't need like, the cricket sound anymore. Um, Multibounds, Close Call, and Power Smash. Quake Hammer. Oh! I have, um, I've had Quake Hammer this whole time. Oops. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. That's the thing that you need to defeat those, um, I can't remember what they're called. Um, the weird stone round things with the spikes on top. Uh... Wear this to add to charge to Mario's tactics menu. Oh. What is... Okay. Cut damage by one HP with a guard action command. Guard action command. Ally. But only an ally can do that. Pretty lucky. When Mario's attacked, it cause enemies to sometimes miss. Minus. What? Yes? What's up? Slowly and automatically restore HP in battle. Charge uses your turn to add a temp damage bonus. Okay. Mm. But in that case, I won't be able to use any of these because it requires two BPs. So the only other option I really have is Power Smash and Shrink Stomp. Wear this to use Shrink Stomp. Two FP are required to use this attack. Can't believe you forgot a weapon in your inventory. Uh, I, f I didn't know I had it. Yeah, I didn't know I picked it up. Um, I could use, I can use damage dodge. I'll go with damage do dodge. I'm sure that's, uh, Oh. This room. This 
room. The fuck? Which room is mine? Is mine at the very end? I should have run. There we go. Okay, let's uh, schedule another. Wait, did we rest? I think we did. Well, let me just do it just in case. Okay. Let's schedule another match. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalo. Let's fix for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be ranked 14 in the glitz pit, the handy overs. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to appeal to the crowd at least once, okay? These fans eat that stuff up, a little grandstanding from their hero, and they go nuts. Now get in there and get them riled up, son. And now we have uh, an egg to fight with us as well now. <laughs> so I have an idea for another stream. I don't know whether to do it this week. Or next week. Um, I've downloaded Flashpoint, and if you don't know what that is, it's a, a, it's a launcher that has preserved and archived all Flash and sh uh, and Adobe Shockwave games. And I I I had a, uh, a go at a few uh, last night. Some of the games that I played in my childhood, and I've been keen to do a stream on just any sort of random flash games that we can find any sort of weird ones but i have to have a good look through and and pick some out i think that'd be really really cool so an earth tremor I'm glad I haven't failed that a single time yet. Oh. <laughs> he gets really sad. Oh, this has just reminded me. Okay, so remember the last stream where um, a random weight fell down into the crowd and everyone jumped out and I said what the fuck what the fuck happened what happened to the crowd um and then did the whole like poison mushroom thing I have uploaded that clip to tiktok my tiktok account it has and I'm not kidding I think it's been two days since I uploaded that maybe two three days even longer it has zero views zero zero views i like to think that because i in the first like few seconds of the clip i started swearing that like tiktok tiktok is just shadow banned it whoa love that you said it exactly like that i okay i don't I don't know if this is a weird thing to admit, or this is weird, this is real strange. If I hear something, I'm able to replicate this, this, I am able to replicate it quite good. If it, even if it's like a reference or anything, so I don't know if it's like a weird... Maybe it's just mental illness, I don't know. But whenever I'm like referencing a joke or a meme or anything like that, I can like replicate it almost too accurately. It's, it's very strange. But anyway, um, yeah, it just got no views whatsoever, and usually that is really strange. Uh, usually at least, like, one TikTok does get at least some views, but the fact that he hasn't gotten a single view, it's led me to believe that it's just not shown up on anyone's For You page. 
at all. So I just gave up. I might have to watch my mouth. I have noticed when I was, you know when I'm editing, I don't really notice things um, on things that I do until I'm editing the streams and notice a, f a lot of things that I do that I don't realize I'm doing. TikTok's always got a couple of views at least. Yeah, I think people get at least like 200 views because a lot of people complain that they either, they go higher than 200 and it gets a lot of attention or people, it gets stuck at 200 and people call it the 200 crew or whatever, it's like the 200 group. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that I notice that I do whenever I'm editing the streams. One thing is that I swear so much, um, especially when I was editing my Jack and Daxter stream, I swore so much. And But the two things I tend to say when I'm getting angry at something, like if I die or anything like that, I either say, Oh my god, or, or fuck off. And when I'm editing, it's bad when I'm editing because you're segmenting, you're, 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 you're splicing it in, into, into small clips and then putting them together. So then when I'm doing that, it's literally like, Oh, fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, for God's sake! Oh, for God's sake! God's sake, fuck off! It's literally like that for the past minute of a, of a clip. And then I, I'm listening to it and I'm like, Oh, maybe I should, like, oh, I don't know, say something else? That's my favourite? What? For, like, saying God's sake and fuck off. <laughs> yeah, but I, I have to say, like, I need to work on saying just, like, I don't know, like, I think it would be funny if I just made random noises. Uh, if, like, something happens. Like, if I die, I'll just go, like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> something, something of the sort. Or I just don't say, oh, for God's sake, all the time. I'm, bl I'm like, blaspheming to the, to the fucking 64th power. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzales, and the Great Entanglers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Mind Bucklers. Are you, darling? Are you quite ready? Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Get yourself ready to, to battle. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Death sounds, yeah. Uh! When I was last year, I got um, I got like chronically addicted to Overwatch. I know that's a really horrible thing to admit. Um, I played like nonstop. I would go to work, I'd come home, play Overwatch for four hours, eat and go to sleep, and rinse and repeat. And I did that for the last. Uh, I did that for like three months. Also, I forgot, I don't know what he told me to do here. Uh, I don't know what guns, um, what was his name, Gubba? I forgot, <laughs> I forgot what he told me to do. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I might have to, I might just have to miss it, it's fine. Um, but anyway, when I was playing Overwatch, and I was, I'd be in like a Discord call with friends and stuff like that. When I'm, you know, in a match and I'm about to die, it happened again. I love the little squeal. It's like, Eek! whatever. Um, yeah, whenever I'm like close to dying or like people are shooting me and stuff, I do the sounds and it sounds like Voldemort from Harry Potter. It's just kind of like, duh, duh, yeah, duh, duh. And I did that unintentionally, and people start to notice that that's the, the shit that I was doing. So yeah, sometimes I make unintentionally funny noises. But I, I should, I should, uh, react more than two ways. I should not keep saying, oh, for God's sake, all the time. Because it does kind of get a bit repetitive. 
Here's the thing, though. Like, I I love talking about, I love I love talking about my streams and myself in this way. Uh, because I don't really listen to many content creators criticize themselves this much. Like, I am constantly like listening back to streams and bods and stuff, and. When I'm all when I'm editing my 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 streams and things like that, so many things that I can pick out and be like, oh, I hate that. Oh, why am I doing that? God, I'm saying this way too much. God, I have nothing to talk about. I say, oh, for God's sake, all the time. I swear too much. I'm not funny. <laughs> uh, I I do that weird sloppy sound every time I laugh. I make shit jokes. <laughs> Did you end up going back to the tree to get the shine sprite? Uh, n no, I, I kind of got too. I'm kind of too much into this whole like uh re like fighting arena stuff. Okay, I need to listen this time. The mind bogglers. In this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer, not even once. I want to see. I want to see how you do when you go got that something to beat a fella with. Now get in there and let's see a combat if I. Okay. You make me laugh a lot. Oh, th uh, you know what. I, I, I'm really happy to hear that, honestly. Like, the worst thing to do when you're streaming, and I think it's also why it just a lot of people don't really go so far in streaming, it's just like they don't really, f they don't have much success in making people laugh. And I want people to laugh at me being a f fucking idiot. Or laugh at me being over dramatic and getting angry at the littlest tiniest thing. I was pissing myself laughing when I was editing my Jack and Daxter stream. There's a bit in it where I'm <laughs> I am like getting so angry at like a specific boss fight because I kept dying in lava. And I just randomly come out with it's just not fair. That is not correct. And the way I said it and the way how bluntly it was, I just I, I had tears in my eyes. And you know, I've I've said to people before that it's kind of it's kind of uh, sad that you you laugh at yourself, you laugh at your own jokes, and no one else finds them funny. But sometimes I, I laugh at myself. I laugh at the own things that I do, and and because I do that, I have a different perspective, and I think like if you can laugh at yourself, then you might be able to make other people laugh. If if you do things that you don't find funny, that you do, that I don't think anyone else will find it funny. That's a good sign you're being funny. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I didn't really see it that way. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I think people should be able to to uh, look back in their own streams and, and chuckle at the things that you do. I think that's a good sign that the type of content that you're making is entertaining yourself. It's, uh, yeah. So he said not to use my hammer. Uh, can I attack by first stomping then spin jumping on enemies? I'm just doing it loud. Oops. Did I miss that? I think that that's why, like, in my in the oops, that's why in the first Paper Mario stream that I did, I did a lot of jokes, and I I, I watched them back, and I'm just like, why did I even say that? That sounds so false. That's not funny at all. But the reason why I do that is because I'm trying to feel dead air. Um. It can be difficult sometimes, constantly talking. So you just kind of fill it with random jokes. But I don't think it's worth it. I think I'd rather have um, silence and not really saying much than making really unfunny jokes. How 
I'm gonna get rid of this guy without using my hammer. Um, can't use my hammer, so... I just have to use, uh... Flurry's Gale Force. Good job, Flurry. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna have to just appeal. Just... What? What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did the... Did they use that? Did the plant use Earthquake? Oh! God, this crowd fucking hates me. They're like, you're taking too long. Stop talking about yourself, you <laughs> egotistical prick. can sometimes join battles with items that they can use. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I think it's because I just didn't see that they had the item on them. I was I got really confused. Oh. Oh. Are you going to hatch up? I'm bummed that we won't hang no more, but hey, that's life, you know, g Dog. Even if you're not feeling your best, you must put a bob bomb good show. It's it's hard when you're not into it, but that is what being a bomb pro is about. Gah, mustache got game. Mustache got riz. Yeah, the game, sorry. <laughs> Oops, wait. I just completely skipped all that dialogue. I keep, ugh, why do I keep doing that? I think, I think it tells you anyway, it, double, it, it tells you again in the, in the match. For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the Great Gonzales and the Green Torture Squad. Yep, a fight to the finish with your punk rocks. Oh, darling, you quite ready. This no take long, this end in pain for mustache. Get yourself ready to do the battle. <laughs> so, don't use items. Okay. You got it. Um, I could use... Can I use... Um, Earth Tremor. Love this thing. I love this move. I can use my crystal star to beat your ass. That little part actually did remind me of um, one of the games that I played yesterday on Flashpoint, and it was... I can't remember what the, the full title is, but it's like Johnny Bravo Boogie something. Or something boogie. And literally the game is, there's like a, a square that goes across the screen at the top, like a bar, and you've got to press the arrow keys when the bar goes over that arrow. So it, 
The, the annoying thing is it's not a rhythm game because the soundtrack in the background is so generic. It's like generic uh, disco music and it's not in time with the arrows that you press. Uh, and it, the more that you do it and the, you, the, the more girls that you've got to impress, like the faster it goes. Oh, I hate those. Yeah, I I really hate it when there is like music, like a music thing. You gotta press the arrow keys, but it's not rhythm based. Like, why? What's the point then? Um, but yeah, it was just one of, one of those games that used to be on Cartoon Network's website, but it's all gone now because Flash probably is dead. Um, but it is on Flashpoint, and I remember playing that, and it was exactly like how I did what what that was, you know, with the the, the earthquake uh, move. But the, the annoying thing is like it's not un, it's not infinite. I feel like it should just be infinite. There is actually like a point where you it, you're just like congratulations you did it all, and I'm like well, but that's that was too easy though. Why don't you just make it keep going and make it almost impossible? I think that would have been a lot funnier. Oh boy, how did Gonzalez fix for a fight? Right, 11 in the glitz pit, the bob arm squad. Now listen, son, this battle, I want you to use at least one special move. Uh, the crowd needs something flashy. Catch my drift, give him a good shot. Why does he ask me to do that right after I've used a special move? Okay. But another game that I played, uh, there's quite a few that I did. Um, but the one that I got really addicted to, and I just want to play it on stream, and it, I played it for like an hour. It's so weird. It's like it was. It's just a Cartoon Network game, like a Flash game, but it is so good that I could play it for hours. And what it is, it's it's Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. It's a Christmas themed one. I, I can't remember what it's called, but you have Grim, Billy, and Mandy. They're in a barrier at the bottom. Mandy's got something to throw. Grim has a hoover or a vacuum, and Billy has uh, popsicle sticks. And you've got to, th you've got to prevent these toys, these like possessed toys, from getting to you by like uh, hitting and, and destroying them. And you get cogs, little tiny cogs, as currency when you defeat them. You use Grim's vacuum to hoover them up, and then every round, it's like a survival thing. It's like, and then you can buy upgrades. Um, but it's like it goes on for a really long time and I played it for like an hour yesterday and I I failed because I bought one weapon for Mandy and it was the shittiest fucking weapon ever and it killed me and I shouldn't have done it but it's so addicting it's it's like it's that flash macromedia flash uh, cr uh, crisp sort of jank but it, it, it's good it's good personally want to play Fusion Fall and see if it was a good game. I've not heard of that one. Fusion Fall. Was that a Flash game? I guess I'm just going to keep appealing. Uh... Don't know. It was a browser 3D MMO. It might be on there. It might be on Flashpoint. There's like, there's a lot of them on there. I'm hoping I can like reach out a little bit to like the same kind of demographic who play these games when they're the same at the same age. There was also a like an online like uh, um. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends game. Where you could create your own imaginary friend and all live under the same house. This is bullying. What the fuck? What? Hold on, did they just take two turns? That felt really unfair. Oh. Frozen status is busted as hell. I was gonna say, I had no way of getting out of that.
It's good job it didn't game over me though. At least they gave me that. Ooh. You know, at one point, um, you could get some status healing items. But that, yeah, I do. I do have some status healing items, but they just bonked me to death. Like, because there was four of them, they took two turns. They took two damage per turn. So that would have been eight times. That would be 16 health gone. So I wouldn't have been able to do anything anyway. In the end, bullshit. <laughs> you can't even use a tonic when you're frozen. That's that's kind of that's kind of broken. Holy shit. Anyway, um I wanted to come back to my YouTube channel and I wanted to make a, an iceberg video and I think one of the the topics I wanted to do was like Adobe Flash Games iceberg. But no one's made one, and I feel like it would have took a lot of effort. <laughs> but I really wanted to do it. Because I think there are quite many, like, Flash games that a lot of people are can relate that they played when they were a kid. It's just two turns of taking damage. Yeah, it's... it's, it's what the fuck? Don't use special moves. One of them survived. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Flower, 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 flower. You know how I know that I am just a pure adult at this point. There's a lot of reasons as to as to uh, as to what what that could uh, what that list could be to prove. But the one thing that really truly made me like, oh god, I'm a tax paying adult, is when I today I saw that the bin men had come round and picked up people's bins and you know emptied them. And I was like, oh, they probably, you know, someone in our complex probably has to put our bins out. They probably missed us. And I went to the shop to go grab a, f a couple of bits. And then I looked to see that our bins had been put out and had been emptied. I got so excited. I was like, oh my god, they've emptied our bins. I'm finally able to, to throw away some of our cardboard. I was literally so happy. I was like, I was so excited. I'm just like, who... What kind of person do you have to be, apart from obviously an adult, a homeowning adult, to get excited that the bins have been Ooh. emptied? I was excited that I was able to put another different flavor, not flavor, uh, scent of wax in my wax melter because the previous one was slowly going away in the scent. So I was like, oh, I can use some of my blueberry cheesecake wax melts. I need to buy some more though. I have an espresso martini scented uh, wax melt and I don't know about it. I'm like, I smell it and I'm like, it kind of, it sort of smells like you've accidentally spilt it on a quilt and left it to dry out. It smells like that. So it's a bit weird. And then you also get ones that are like cinnamon swirl. 
and you can smell it from 15,000 miles away. The big bomb bomb bom boomers. <laughs> A fat to the finish with bomb squad. I want you in my room. But, uh, Mario, darling, are you quite ready? Here we go, Gonzalez. Bomb, I have advice. Just give up now, bomb bomb. Get ready to battle. Appeal to the crowd at least once. Right. Hello. That's way too strong. Oh, yeah. I did. It, it was like fine for a bit, but then it's like if it's on in the living room and you walk through the door, you can just smell it immediately. It's just like, oh my god, Jesus Christ. I'm not, I'm not too fond of the wax melts that's like strawberry cheesecake or like, I don't know, um, rainbow sprinkle rush. Like, the, I just, just give me like, I don't know, uh, what's like a really generic sm like smell? Fresh linen or something like that? I don't know. Just just something simple because it's, it's, okay. I don't know if you guys have ever tried, um, what are they called? Uh, incense sticks. Okay. Has I I feel, I feel like incense sticks are is like that sort of thing where you you you, you hear that people have them and use them and you think that they're popular, so you try them out and you kind of pretend to like them. Because that's what I did when I was like 15 or 16 and had money. I would go to the shopping center near my house and go to a, a small shop called Extravaganza and they sold different kinds of uh, incense sticks but they were all like they weren't you, you, you don't Oh. Oh, I don't know. You could... I don't know that happened. Oops. But you'd get, like... You wouldn't get, like, strawberry-scented incense sticks. That just doesn't exist. You'd get, like, dragon's breath, witch's blood, werewolf's, uh, fucking gland, uh, pixie's pus. It's... It's... That's what you'd get. Um... And you, you'd get, you'd buy them, thinking that, oh, I wonder what this smells like, and it smells horrible. It doesn't smell good, but people pretend to like the smell because you want to be cool that you've lit an incense stick, and it's like smoking, and it's, oh, it looks cool. Werewolf's gland. <laughs> it's like that kind of, yeah, like werewolf's musk. It like things like that it's <laughs> but yeah i feel like people just just pretend to like that stuff i i i just thought it looked cool honestly it just looked cool i'd like to know what wine gums taste oh wait what did what did you say cider uh i've been looking into taste of european gummy candy and was reminded of wine gums apparently they're super common in the uk and not in the us if you've had them what do they taste like oh honey i can tell you what they taste like because wine gums are my favorite i love wine gums um wine gums they're very sweet uh very fruity tasting um they're well they're very very chewy um they're quite more on the denser side of, of chewing. Um, so make sure your teeth are good. If you've got bad teeth, then it's going to hurt. Um, they're not hard. They're just dense. Like, they, you've got to really chew. Um, but it's like, a, if you've got good teeth and it doesn't hurt, it's a satisfying chew. But they taste really good i love it when i always get wine gums so i i highly recommend you try them if you want to if you want to dabble in european sweets i don't know if you've even have you like interested in trying um 
like pure British jelly babies as well. Some people hate them, some I love them. Some people don't like them because of the powder that are, are on them. But I, they're a lot less um, hard to chew than wine gums. Um, and uh, they're a bit more, I don't know. I would say rougher. It's a different texture for sure. But I think jelly babies taste really good as well. I don't even know what's going on in the game. <laughs> You're starting in the minor league, of course, uh, as you've just started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log onto this computer terminal. Mr. Grubber will then decide who you match up against. You will have n uh, no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log in with A. Then pick Reserve a Match. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, so Swoop? Well, howdy, sir, Swoop. Ready to get your ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get the crowd fired up, so do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. And wait, what? And meow? You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, party. I'm going to visit a European import store on Friday and get educated. I want to try the extreme Scandinavian salted licorice. Well, good luck with that. By the way, why were we talking about werewolves? I'm sure you know my feelings about werewolves. It was because the incense sticks that were at like a, a shop, like it, it, there is, it was like werewolves musk and dragon's blood and vampires armpit like <laughs> it was like things like that like but that doesn't describe a smell that no one knows what that smells like yeah it's straight it's like okay extravaganza that shop that i talked about it was like it's like gothic kind of products um like things that you'd expect in what's the american version it's like um hot topic it's kind of like that. Did you go into a sex shop? No. It was like, it was more uniquely tasted knickknacks for maybe people who are into uh, more subtle, more like uh, specific things. It was like, yeah, it's like kind of like Hot Topic in a way. So, uh, yeah, it had that kind of, kind of grunge sort of items and, and things like that um hi guys yeah my name's swoop sir swoop i mean nice to meet you okay you yes you sir swoop time for your battle bub follow me okay so, oh okay secure is here to escort you to the ring try not to get completely destroyed out there all right Clefter admits mustache is strong. Teamwork is important, Bomb. The match is not just for your personal glory. If you want to win, you need to know how Bomb your partner fights. I do want him... I do imagine him talking like, like with a baby voice. Or like a very quiet kind of voice. Well, dog, my cats, if it ain't the great Gonzalez fixed for a fat hurt. <laughs> Who we? You're gonna love this. Your next opponent is rank 10 in the Glitz Pit, the Armored Harriers. That's right, you're done true, and you're, you're gonna make go at the Major League. <laughs> We're expecting great things from you. You don't go as loud as down now. Now, listen, sir, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your. It sounds like I've got, like, fucking tobacco in my, sh <laughs> in my mouth. I'm just like, now, listen, sir, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. <laughs> Not everyone, son. I want to see how you do when you ain't got something to be a fellow with. I'm so excited to see the remastered version of the Glitz Pit. That would be something very exciting to look forward to. When I saw, like, the trailer uh, again the other day, I was like, my god, look how high quality it looks. Chipmunks with wine gums. Yeah. <laughs> I will admit when I when I 
uh, sometimes when I buy wine gums and I'm like chewing, I'm like eating them and stuff, sometimes it does make my t my my jaw ache a little bit because they're very hard to chew, but they're so good. And now today's main event: the major league awaits the eleventh ranked Greg Gonzalez, but only if he can beat the tenth ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis twins. First, let's get the merciless execution in here, folks. The Greg Gonzalez. Get their iron tails. Do you lose, dude? Love that medicine. Did you say medicine? Who we the Greg Gonzalez? How you feeling? Burb. Whoa, Nelly! You hurt the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. But, oh my God! What the fuck did you eat? Oh God! It smells. Oh Jesus Christ! If only there was a werewolf transformation potion like in The Sims 3. If only, yeah, if only you could buy that. Your, your, your challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. I and Adonis twins, he said, more like paper dog face bros and they stink. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Uh, yeah, and then they said, Aldi belly buttons running their family stink was. <laughs> yeah, but he said Fortnite ain't a real game. Fortnite sucks. Fortnite for kids. What? How does he know mom has an Aldi? That jerk. We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink you. And then we're gonna piss you out. Only smelly stinkwads call other people stinkwads. Understand stinkwad? Never wondered, understood what was wrong with an outie. I mean, yeah, it, it's not. I've never heard someone insult someone for having an outie belly button. I'm just like, whenever, you know, I know that they're not common, but when I do see someone with an outie belly button, I'm like, oh my god, you have an outie belly button? That's not that common. And then I leave it at that. I don't see what's wrong with that. Can I give you a tip for these guys to avoid frustration? Yeah, if there's if they're going to be annoying, yeah, any uh, any sort of advice will be great. Use Goombella's tattle. Okay. See these bods? Oh, sorry. Uh, see these bods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is like whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in, in the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready, battle. That means I'm going to have to take a turn on getting Goombella out. And they want me to not use my hammer as well. Good gracious, we'll make the Major League if we prevail. I like our chances. Give up now. Well, stinkwads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. That's an iron cleft. That guy's scary, period. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron clefts. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an iron cleft, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. Well, I completely missed that. There we go. Hit one with the other one. How do I do that? Oops. Does, is he able to do that? I don't think he's able to do that. I don't think I've seen a move in this where you can have one enemy hit another enemy. You don't have that move yet. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Goombella. Alright, let me do the tower on the other one. Oh, it's the same. It's the same. Sorry. I thought they would just have different because they have different colored shoes. 
I just want I just wanted to make sure. But I don't know if they would be slightly different. Run? Just run. I can just run away. Maybe this isn't yeah, maybe this is intentional. They do have separate entries for some reason. Oh, do they? Wait, was that different? Oh. Um I'm gonna run away. I feel like it's intentional. We got ourselves a win at the arm and hair. <laughs> what the fuck? Why am I on the ground? I ran away. Did I trip? Time to turn off the game. <laughs> yep, that's it, folks. How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you don't, if you want another piece of pommel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. Yeah, was, yeah, she does tell you to run. Yeah, so here's your fight, money, Mister Gonzalez. Uh, his ranking remains at eleven. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I must begin. Hey, check it out. Our little eggy friend is gone. What a bummer. Where do you think the little guy took off to? Yo. Huh? <laughs> Gonzalez, check me out. Thanks to you, I had to save it. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> what? You're in that cute little eggy weggy? Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole, honest. I believe you. Just don't say it like that. Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of the egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? What shall I call him? Vorio. <laughs> I don't, what should I... I don't know what to name him. <laughs> uh... Like Clarence or something? <laughs> something really lame. Uh... Wasn't he blue? Wasn't he kind of like bluish? Maybe we can just call him Miku. There we go. His name's Miku. Miku, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah. I like it. It just starts, like, singing from the ground. The Yoshi's now your friend. He'll answer to Miku. Yoshi's ability is a primer. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. It's really small. While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. Also, while on the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. Ah. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move. Or, you can use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. It probably would have been more... made more sense if I did call him Vorio. But a part of me felt insecure to do so. So... Yeah. Missed opportunity. Yeah. It's fine. It's okay. I think Miku is fine. <laughs> It'd be cool if, could, if you could customize the, the color palette. That I could, like, change his hair to a more of a light blue. Um, in that case, I'll be able to um, beat those guys now. 
because I can use I can use Miku's move to to inhale one and spit them out of the other one. Listen, sir, in this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you three times, okay? It's just so dang boring when I'm actually so one-sided and you hear what I'm saying to you. Get in there and kick some behind. The color you get is decided with RNG depending on how long you've been playing. You get a different Yoshi color depending on how much time passes between when you encounter the egg and when it hatches. Really? Is there a really, really rare um, color palette? That you can get. Like a shiny from Pokemon. I wish. Aw. But yeah, imagine if you got like like a pure gold palette or something like that. Or if you got a specific palette and he comes with like a very special piece of rare dialogue or something. Let me at him. I'm ready for a beanie. <laughs> These ultra hand bars just can't lose. Get yourself ready to battle. Shadow Yoshi. <laughs> I am you but evil. Yeah. It's anti Yoshi. Gonzalez, let me at him. We're gonna take these punks this time. Stick was challenging the others again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partners, if that's gonna help him. I wonder if he like in a little, like, let me add like a New York accent, like. I'm a punchman. Wait. Stan Island. Um, yeah, okay, so. Let's so see his move. Gulp. Uh. Yeah. Ouch! You spiked me right in the, the dick. That really hurt. <laughs> Our item bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh, dang, bro. He has discovered our weak points. I saw this. Did he say to damage us three times? Maybe I should swap him around because Jesus Christ. Oops! Oh shit, I thought that said HP, not FP. Oops, I'm stupid. Your New Yorker sounds like when an American tries to sound cockney. <sighs> oh, I didn't feel what he said. Oh well, it's fine. Do we have to go back to the minor league, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Greg Gonzalez. <laughs> With this win, you make the major league. Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and woolly fight, a diggity down doozy. Give it up, kid. You're going places I can tell. Who we? Come on now, folks, give it up. We've got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it for him. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, Miku did all the work. I just love, like, I'm getting all the fucking attention. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Now we're gonna pay the debts that we have. $7,000 have not been paid. Fuck's sake. $7,000 in criminal damages. Seven coins for all of that. I was gonna say. Then again, I had like no coins when I got here because I spent them all. Mr. Grabber, I brought Mr. Gonzalez, she requested. But, but Miss Jolene, you're, you mind your manners now. We not around here, Missy. I apologize, Mr. Grabber. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, none. Now, what did I want again? Something about Gonzalez, oh yeah. I think glasses. Like sunglasses that he wears. It's because I can barely see his pupils. 
Gonzalez, you old so so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going to play some dang. I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuxuses in. Wait, what? Tuxuses in them seas. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something something for you. Go on, take it. Extra coin. Oh, wow. 30 coins. So, yeah, something else that's been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. Something in the hot pink, maybe with some frills or something. You'll look a little sad, son. Anyway, that's something for another day, pard. Take a powder, okay? 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 This okay. okay. <laughs> please follow me if you would. They gotta be ranking... Oh, they gotta be raking in coins with how big the audience is. I was gonna say, I wonder if they're, they aren't, if they're paying their taxes correctly. Of their declaring as much as they, uh, as much as they say. This is the Major League Locker Room. You'll use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the Minor League, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, Mr. Gonzalez. If you'll excuse me. Uh, I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> Funny. What's the deal when it came with these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Studly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A much stash named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you. Haha, <laughs> what a waste of time. Oh. Alright. Fucking hell. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Are you fucking talking to me? Fucking come here. Fade me on skate park. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Oh, the champ's belt. Hey, you, get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked. I'm not sure, but he definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Oh, it's not the real crystal star? Hey, you think you, you can smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so. You get some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? That my voice is like on this, these characters are just like all over the place. Ain't no taxes in the sky. <laughs> yeah, they just don't get taxed. It's like, no, we're, we're technically not in any sort of like land. We're just up in the sky. It's international. So uh, we, yeah, we get to avoid taxes. Well, sorry, yellow dude. Didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You, you're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. I don't have to do a New Yorker accent. Before I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock. International Sky Lord. Yeah. I'd love to hear you try speaking like a Scot. Um... Uh Uh I don't think I can do it. Um If that you <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to hear it in my head. Solus, was that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get an email from? Uh, if you want the, <laughs> the crystal st star, heed my instructions. I don't know. I, I can't. I've not really practiced a Scottish accent. I love the spooky SP ringtone. Yeah, that's good. Who the heck is this X dude? It's, <laughs> it's Elon Musk. <laughs> he talks like he's the man to see about the crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Destroy the foe before you. That's the only concern of a true warrior. Destroy the foe. Okay. Maybe the champ someday will win. Just 
Hey, where'd you get the hammer? You're biting my style. I'm the hammer guy. You're pretty tough. Oh, sorry. I just burped. You're pretty tough, baby, but you're really going to have to power up to win here. Okay. Can you speak like someone from Leeds? I think that's just like a, a generic northern accent. If you had the chance to change your fate. <laughs> yeah. I think anyone that's like from Leeds, it's like the normal, like the, the northern Yorkshire accent. Be like, um, well, uh, alrighty then, let's just see here. Uh, your next opponent will be ranked 11 in the Glitz Pit, the Armoured Areas. Listen, son, in this battle, I want you to stand pat, all right? Uh, do not attack at all. Uh, the, the crowd loves you. So give them what they want, driving bonkers. This was in Pudsey. <laughs> Get in there and share your spotlight. I know. I know. That's, that's what a lot of people from Leeds say. I know. Really? I know. <laughs> For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the Great Gonzales and the Iron Adonis twins. Yep, a fat to the finish with the Armored Harriers. Wait, I thought I already just beat these guys. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? <laughs> we gave you a break the other day, but now it's on. Get yourself ready to battle. I'm studying this if I should ever go to Leeds again. Oops, I forgot to rest. Oh, whoopsie daisy. You know what? No, what I'll do, I'll use my special. I'll use my sweet treat. You didn't meet the requirements. Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm fighting them again because... I don't have the requirements to fight the next people. Was I... Oh, was I meant to, to follow that, that email? Oh, I, okay. That's just me kind of just not really paying attention. Well, at least I'm getting more coins, I suppose, so... you were supposed to take damage three times. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll do that then. If you don't meet the requirements, Grubber gives you them, and then you'll fight the rank below you. Right. Well, I've been attacked. Does it ha- Oh, I don't know if it has to be exactly three times. just at least three times. That requirement was for the last match. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I leveled up. Um...
got ourselves a win, the great Gonzalez. Mm. Had that foretaste. Oh shit, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. 11 coins? Wow. I've definitely uh, built up my, my coins again. So what was the... Okay. Let me just reread that message that they got sent. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions. Oh, is that it? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> the bathroom. Occupied. Oh. Someone's in there taking a shit. You'll get more emails. Okay. Got more f 15 minutes until the two hour mark. I'm gonna, um. Because it didn't I. Oh, wait, what? So you're telling me that you have no idea who got inside? What did we have to pay you for? I'm awful sorry, Miss Jolene. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Hmm. Fine. Leave the rest of the matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this, or I'll have your job. You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. This is the way out. This is the exit. I'm, I was on my way to the exit. Your voice for Jolene is fucking perfect. <laughs> Just kind of what I expect. Gotta make sure that you follow Grubber's instructions. Keep advancing. Okay, got it. Um, I don't know if I can, because you know that there's like a shine sprite that was um quite high up. I don't know if I can use Miku to get there now. How do I? It does, I think that is I am able to get over places though like um over long like big gaps uh so that's something at least do you think I'm able to get to the shine sprite via that I can give it a give it a try. Does it work by, um, like if you fall, hold on, wait, let me just, okay, I have to, I can't do it while I'm falling, so I have to do it while I'm jumping. get this then. Hmm. Maybe there's another way of doing it. Oh well, I just wanted to check. get a super jump later on. Okay. Oops, is it this this one? rest first. I can't remember if I did or didn't.
but boy Hannah Gonzalez is fixed for a fight already then let's just see here your next opponent will be ranked nine in the glitz pit the tiny spin spine is the listen to in this battle i want you not to, to attack for the first three turns okay fans love it when their heroes make them sweat a bit or am i right or am i right i'll get in there and bring home the bacon um i only discovered those um it's like a specific dog commercial where it's like in the perspective of the dog, like the, a POV. You can see his nose and he's like, bacon, 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 bacon. And I wish we just had commercials like that in England. This one sucks, you just gotta keep defending. Oh. The thorny demons, yep, a fat to the finish with the tiny spiders. You think you can take me in Gonzalez? It's gonna be fun poking fun at you. Get yourselves ready to battle. One day you should play Dogs Alive on the PS2. Yeah, sure. Do both of us just defend? Going. Where's it going? Well, it's a good job I was defending. Very little fuckers, aren't they? Has it been three turns already? I can't, I can't remember. It's definitely been three turns now. Ads over here are generally loud and obnoxious. Yeah, but our commercials are really boring. <laughs> I mean, uh, in in okay, UK commercials are really strange. Um, they're definitely not as energetic as as US commercials are. I've watched I watched. Um, I'm a really, really massive fan of German985, and I love it whenever he does his commercial streams, because he does, like, American 80s commercial streams. And some of those commercials are insane. Their, their Coca-Cola and McDonald's commercials, with, like, people dancing and things like that, you would never see that in England. you never see that in England. Ever. Like, dancing and stuff for, for Coca-Cola or any, anything like that. I love, yeah, I love old ads. I, I wanted to do a stream where I react to old 2000s UK commercials because there's like a, loads of compilations of them and I want to do that. Like how Germa did his or Vinny did the commercial chaos and stuff. But the thing is, it's like, you, I'd probably have to have a British audience. I'd have to have a lot of people from the UK to actually understand them. Unless people are just interested in what England commercials were like. I would absolutely watch that. Yeah, I, I'd love, to, I'd love to, to dive into that. Just give us the context. Yeah, I suppose I could. Yeah, I suppose I can just like kind of chime you in into what this is and stuff. But the the, the one thing that we really like to do, um, especially back then, is we were we were I think similar to the US, we were quite fond of like catchy chimes and ca catchy tunes to to commercials but we kind of like made characters out of them like um these chimes like it came with a whole personality like uh one guy was the go compare guy he was like this opera singer with a massive mustache um there is the Sheila's wheels. Um, it was just like three women in, in pink dresses. 
there's obviously the PG Tips Monkey with Johnny Vegas. They were just like kind of like a character duo. Um, the Meerkats from Compare the Meerkat. I think that that's more like you got your uh, that gecko uh, and Aflac Duck. That's it's kind of like that. Um, yeah, it's it's weird. But it's like very typical British, like you can't get anything more British than, than British commercials. There was one commercial for Iron Brew, this is obviously Scottish. Um, there was a real commercial and it was someone who had just given birth and the husband came in and the woman holding the baby was like, I want to call a fanny. And the guy is like, oh my god. Uh, and so he drinks a can of Iron Brew and he's like, Fanny, that's a lovely name. And then uh, the mom's grandparents come in and the grandma's like, oh, she'll be a great Fanny. Her mom was a Fanny. Her dad was a Fanny. We're all a bunch of Fannies. And then he drinks the Iron Brew again and he's obviously, you know, like... And... Um, it's not as funny for in the US because fanny in the US means butt. In the UK, it means vagina. <laughs> so that commercial was a, a very comedic one because of what that, that word means. But there is actually people called fanny. There was like a whole joke on a, on a, on a, on a TV show in the UK called The Chase. It's like a trivia, it's a trivia show. And um, there was a question about a person and what sport they played in the Olympics or something like that. And her name was Fanny Schmeller. And obviously Bradley Walsh, who was the presenter for The Chase, absolutely laughed his ass off because of how funny the name was. And then later on, there was a we have a we have a TV show called Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway, which is just like these this comedic duo, and they have a, like this really big show. And they do a bunch of pranks on celebrities sometimes. There was a prank on Bradley Walsh because he laughed at her name. They actually pranked him by bringing in the real Fanny Schmeller into his bedroom or something like that. And she and she had like the ski thing, like the ski equipment and everything like that. So yeah, he was like laughing at her name on national television. And now he got pranked by actually meeting her in person. Yeah. I guess some dudes are still called dick. Yeah, that's, yeah. Is Iron Brew alcohol over there? No, Iron Brew is, um, is, oh God, I feel like I'm gonna offend Scottish people by saying this. When I drink Iron Brew, I just think it's like an orangey kind of drink, but it has, it has a, maybe it's got a little taste of ginger in it, maybe. Um, but you can barely find Iron Brew in Britain. It's everywhere in Scotland, though. When I went to Glasgow for a weekend, we went to a shop. And um, the, I'm not kidding. The, the, the aisle where all of the fizzy drinks are, like the two litre bottles of fizzy drinks, I'm pretty sure like one side of the, of the aisle, like one side of the shelves, Nothing but iron brew. Two liter bottles of iron brew. It's just you can get, you can just never run out of iron brew in Scotland. There's so much of it. But in, in in England, there's you can barely find it. I think you'll probably find like one bottle of iron brew somewhere. <clears throat> yeah. Do you guys have a drink in the U.S. called dandelion and burdock? I'm very curious if you've had if you have that. It's gross. <laughs> I don't know why people like it. It's kind of like if a company attempted to make Coca-Cola but made something really bad, but it's got an acquired taste to it. Yeah, dandelion and burdock is is it's weird. It's really weird. I don't know if it's ever like if it's seen out of the UK. Frank eight in the glitz pit, the poker faces. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer, not even once, son. I want to see how you do. 
we have real drinks here that are full of sugar. Yeah. I've, uh... I, I, uh, I don't tend to drink f uh, full sugar fizzy drinks. Um, I tend to go with sugar-free. Um, still caffeinated, but sugar-free. Whenever I have, like, if I'm ordering something from, like, a fast food place and the only option they have is full fat Coke, um, and I have that, it's, I obviously not had it uh, as a recent because of boycotts and stuff, but when I have in the past, I always hate it. Get either Pepsi, like full fat Pepsi or full fat Coke, because I always get this that layer of sugar like uh, syrup in my mouth, and I can feel it on my teeth, and it's horrible. Horrible. Aspartame. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> You're gonna be, you're gonna be coleslaw, kid, and that ain't good. Here's I write about. I've never heard it called full fat. Oh, oh yeah, that that's um, that's what how we we say like full sugar, like we call it full fat, like full fat coke or full fat. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I realize I, I'm not sure why, but uh, yeah. This is a bad crowd loop. I just realized every single one in the audience is a piranha plant. And I'm kind of scared. There's no fat in them. Yeah, I know, but I, I don't know why. It's it's like a, it's like one of those kind of pieces of slang that doesn't really make sense. It's like, um, you know, aluminum foil or aluminum foil is how people say in the US. We call it tin foil. It's not tin, it's aluminium. But why do we call it tin foil? It used to be tin foil, it used to be tin, but it's not anymore, it's aluminium. But we still call it tin foil, because it's easier to say than aluminium foil. We sometimes call it tin foil in the US too. Oh, right, okay. I guess like full fat milk versus 2%. That, yes, that does make sense, like, I think what we've done is like people call it full fat milk, but we also take that as like the full, like the maximum amount of a product that is, you know, not light, not diet, not sugar free. It's like the highest one you can get, and we call it full fat something. But same with cans. Sometimes we call them tins. That that's kind of that. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Never I've never heard it be called tin foil, just aluminium foil. Yeah, tin. F I don't. Yeah, tin foil is more just like it used to be. It used to be made of tin, but not anymore. Uh, they use aluminium now. But I think people just like how short it is, so we just continue to say tin foil, even though it's not. Um, I'm just gonna use that kind of. I really want to do that um, that UK commercial stream now. I think that'd be so cool. I really want to do it. I don't even care if like there's not many people here. I just want to watch a commercial compilation and just like commentate over it. I'll be there for that for sure. I'll have to think, yeah, I'll have to... What if I just, like, replace, um, Friday with that? We'll still have Thousand Year Door on Saturday and Shuffle Sunday, obviously. Unless I do it on Shuffle Sunday. But, I don't know. Maybe invite a British pal to comment on it with you. Nah. <laughs> Nah. What's your favorite Haribo candy? Um. Hmm. 
It sounds a little bit basic of me, but I'd probably just go with gummy bears. Either that or the the hearts. Either the hearts or the gummy bears. But I think the gummy bears are, I think, like, they... I think they taste the best. Did you guys have ever have, like, um... Do you guys have, have like, candy shops and you get, like, a bag full of random sweets? And it would be, like, a dollar? Is it, like, a pick and mix? Did you ever get anything like that? Or is that just, like, something that we did in England? I don't really know. Yeah? Okay, cool. Did you guys have white chocolate rats? <laughs> like, the really small white chocolate rats? I love the gummy raspberries with the sprinkles on the outsides. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was like 50 people in here because I want to see the chat full of question marks. I I'll Google it. I'll put it up on stream. White chocolate rats. Oh god. It looks really weird in photos. I want to use this photograph. Isn't it from an ew, it's from an eBay auction. <laughs> One sec. So, the white chocolate rats, they look like this. Um, they don't taste that great. It's literally, and you can actually get, um, there's another, there's another photo here. Um, you can actually get pink ones too. Pink chocolate rats as well. Um, they're they're kind of dry. They're chalky a little bit. Um, and they have that weird plasticky taste to them. I'm very curious what company makes them. Like, who, who makes these? It, but it was one of those those types of sweets that would be in a pick and mix that you would look inside, you'd see the white chocolate rat and you'd go, ugh, ugh, I got some white chocolate rats. I don't want them. Do you want them? It's like that one candy, that one sweet that you would try to, to put on someone else. Because it's gross. I've heard that sugar mice are a thing in the UK and they're just solid sugar. Sugar mice? Um, oh, uh. Okay, I don't think I've actually had these before. But. I feel like I know, I feel like I've had something similar and I know what it's like. It's very chewy. It's it's covered in sugar, but yeah, I, I think it literally is like a chewy sugar uh, candy. Um, it's got maybe the same, I'm trying to think of what's similar in kind of like texture wise. Um, it's almost like the same kind of texture as mochi where it's like really soft and you kind of like you bite into it and it's sort of stretchy it's kind of like that except it's more uh gritty because of the sugar so that's that's the best i can describe it the uk seems to love mice and rats well we got we got plagued by them for like 30, 40 years, so we kind of grew a, a little connection with them. So. <clears throat> Gonzalez, you hear that? You just got another email. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit. The watering hole? It's from my mystery ex dude. Go to some watering hole? Huh. Okay, whatever. I'd give anything to know who this dude is. Where would the watering hole be? 
Is it the... Wait. Watering hole. Are you talking about the bubonic plague? Yeah! <laughs> I know you. I was just trying to think of a cool nickname for you. Let's see here. How about the Mustachioed Mangler? Hmm, doesn't quite flow. I thought he was going to probably take the mick out of me then. I know the best way to get popular with this crowd. Want to hear it? Yes. Sorry, I didn't hear that. This place is loud, you know. Anyway, to get popular, keep winning. Come on, am I not the smartest guy of all time? Pearls of wisdom here. Job. Sure. I would simply not get sick with the plague. Is that how you do it? If I was back in the day where the bubonic plague was rampant and was such a problem, I would just simply not get it. Hey, great mustache, you're like almost as strong as Prince Mush, huh? Where, where are they talking about with the watering hole, I'm wondering? Is there like a door I didn't go through? Watering hole. Outside? Oh, I think when they said the glitz pit, I was thinking about the actual arena, like the actual stage and not the entire building. Wow. Yeah. Very, uh... I don't know how to describe it. Bunga bunga music, I don't know. <laughs> Miku. Come on, Miku. Miku! Yeah. Uh, watering hole. Watering hole. What's a watering hole? Oh, these guys, I didn't even notice these over here. With the rough and tumble battering and traveling sisters three. Oh my gosh, you're the great Gonzalez from the magazine. This is too cool. Oh gee, it's Gonzalez. I thought his name was Gorgonzola. stupid is this it's not it's not a literal watering hole wait oh is it a place called the watering hole it's a place you get drinks oh okay oh wait the fish though it's an american term oh Oh, that's probably why I didn't get it. <laughs> ah, my lovely mademoiselle, she is what dove cookie, as you say, huh? Oh, I cannot even sleep the pink spots and that they invade my very dreams. Who, who is he talking about? Pink spots? Are you talking about Goombella? We need the fish emote. I know, I know, I, I'm, I need to, I need to have the time to draw the binky fish emote, yeah. 
Oh, you're missing Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for a thick-stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this the letter was talking about is this. Oh. Super hammer. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. It's so nice to meet you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting the super hammer. It's way more powerful. Plus, you can also use a wicked cool new technique. Want to learn about it? Sure you do. Let's practice. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before releasing B. Hold down B and rotate. Oh. Okay. Ooh, excellent, Mario. You're so awesome. Want to try it again? No, that's fine. Okay, great. You mastered the super hammer. With a super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this. Oh, there's a lot of backtracking I need to do. I've seen, seen loads of them. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. You can use the super hammer in battle, too. Try it. See you later, Mario. Get low with your quest. Your best American accent is your Valley Girl voice. What is my southern one not good? Fuck. So far as I could tell, that hammer's a new model, the Hammerwack 2005. Real nice hammer all around, solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonkability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave you this must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice? It should be um Boris Johnson. The Boris Johnson voice. <clears throat> Even like, um... But! Why leave this in this juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? It's not like it's that hard had to give to a pro fighter. I hated that. I hated that. You get a new beautiful new blue passport. Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room from X. Okay. The blockade in the minor league locker room, huh? Wonder what's behind it. There was one time that Germa did a Boris Johnson impression, and I don't think I can get over that. Because it's so weird that, like, People from America, like, know who people from the UK are sometimes. Like, sometimes if I ask an American to name five British celebrities, it's usually a bit difficult for them to do. Like, I don't think many people know any British, like, reality people. You know, like, like, King Kardashian, of, like, in America. Like, we have people like that in the UK, but I don't think... People, not many, me, not, not many people know them. Name five of the doctors or the Monty Python people. Literally, <laughs> literally, yeah. Honestly, I mean, yeah, you could say David Tennant, Peter Capaldi, and Christopher Eccleston, and or Matt Smith, and you've got it. But like, if it's not from like a big franchise, like, um. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of this specific. If 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 an American knew who Kim Woodburn is, I would be I'd be quite surprised. Um but okay, I was gonna use the, the blockade. Wait, this is the major league room. Or like an actor from the British soaps, like Coronation Street and EastEnders, but I don't know any names from there. I don't I, I don't really watch them, so. Oh. Wait, I, why can't I get in there? Definitely said minorly, you know. It's 
smash the blockade in the minor league locker room. So how do I get in there? Huh? Look for secrets. Mm. Like this very suspicious basket on here. I don't know if these guys have got anything to say. Any, I don't know, anything in the lockers? What the fuck? I feel like that's for something specific at one point. Appointment will be happening. Everything's been approved. That's amazing. Congratulations. And uh, so I'm really happy how soon it is, honestly. So I honestly wish the best of luck for, for, for that. Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? Yes, this place has rumours and secrets and spades, but the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders? Which one do you want to hear about? Uh... Robert and Jolene. Grubber is a strange one. His body is incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then, then, then there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. But she never did. Huh? You think it's stranger that someone staked out her bathroom? Good point. A sealed wall. They say there's a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Some say the remains of a fallen athlete are stored in there. They say in one of the arena's bathrooms, a man eating toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again. It's an SCP. That was a big hint. Okay. They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs, and some say that groaning voices sometimes come from the second floor. Um. Hmm. Um, I wonder what that would be. They say that the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in the room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. Is that been confirmed that the champion has killed people? Then, like the Rock Hawk has murdered people. My friend's friend friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. Hmm. <clears throat> it's getting close to me needing to end the stream, so I might just try and see if I can check the bathroom and see if there's. Occupied. Can I get in? Get me- get in! Get me in, motherfucker! I think I might leave that for, uh, for the next stream.
I think I'll end it there, folks. Uh, that was fun. We talked about a lot of cool things today, and I'm really happy about that. There's a lot of things on the mind. So I'm happy to, to have gone through them. Raid? Sure. Uh, who Do you know anyone who's live right now? Wayland? Cool. Uh, wait, oh, I put Wayland is here. Wayland is here. Got it. Um, thank you so much for the thousand year door stream. No, no problem. I'm glad you, I'm glad, I'm glad you uh, enjoyed it. We'll be back. Maybe. Uh, I was looking forward to it. Oh, that's amazing. I'm, oh my god. That just genuinely make me really happy that you were looking forward to a stream. That's, uh, that's awesome. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed it today. I hope it was worth it. Um, but we may be back Friday for more Thousand Year Door, or I might consider doing that UK commercial stream, because it makes me really want to do it now that I've spoke about it. But I'll decide. Uh, whether to do that or not. If I do decide to do it, then Saturday will be the next Thousand Year Door stream. And then Sunday will be our Shuffle Sunday. So, again, thank you very, very much for coming to the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. And have a good rest of your day. I'll see you Friday. <laughs>